uh, I hate working. I wasn't made for work. I was made for rest. I was made to be a queen. I have, in my previous life, I did not move a muscle. I swear to God. Hum, para o que é que eu estou a olhar? <risos> eu não estou bem, eu não estou bem. Uh. Hey, so right now I'm doing some work for college because my vacations, uh, vacations while being stuck at home, the fun times. Uh, my vacation started, but vacations in college does not mean vacations. It means time to do the work you have to do. Because I have one, two, three essays I've got to do. Two of them I already started previously because they were given back in the beginning of the semester. But the third one, uh, the teacher hasn't given us what he wants us to do yet. And it's going to be like timed. Like we're going to have, he's going to give us like the questions and we have like 10 days to do it or something like that. And that's really weird and I hate it, but it's modern Portugal. I always hate it. <laughs> but, so, um, I have um, a class that is uh, ancient Egyptian like hieroglyphs and if you want to see my hieroglyphs I can show you my hieroglyphs. I'm always available to show hieroglyphs. Um, but that was going to be two tests but since everything happened and we're at home uh, we can't have tests anymore because it wouldn't really work. That's good because it means less two tests but it also means one more <laughs> Thing I will have to work on. Ooh. But I'm fairly advanced because my my first essay is to deliver on the 30th of April and I am almost done but I am really like perfecting it, making it pop. I really like the word pop. I could pop everything in this world, I swear. I think it isn't great, it isn't amazing, it isn't like the blessedest of blessed work, like truly a noble, truly the best historian to have ever lived. Um, but it's good, it's something I'm doing, at least I still have a lot of time to perfect it until 30 of April, so I'm fairly confident I can do something at least more or less okay. Well, so these are my cards that I make to study your glyphs. On his pet, which is Sky, and this one actually has a kind of a, a help that is the unilaterals P and T. So even if I didn't know this one, I know P and T, so I know it's PT, like PT pet. You read like you put an S sound in the middle, and this is Sky, but in Portuguese. And basically there are a lot of hieroglyphs and they kind of work in different ways. Like there are hieroglyphs who are phonetic and meaning they just represent a sound and not the thing they actually are. And then there are hieroglyphs that are like the actual concepts, ideas and like um, things, you know, like whole words. For example, this little flag is God, means God, is Necher and it's gone. But like uh, this is just R, just the sound, just the letter R, it doesn't mean anything. As for this one, it's a determinative, meaning it's determining what this is, a location. This is like for locations, like regions, and this is a, a location, this is the necropolis, meaning where you bury the dead. For example, this is a very simple vocabulary, it's Eb, which is heart, and this little uh, vertical shenanigan is, it means that what you have here is exactly what, what's here. Meaning, this is heart, it's just a heart. Like, nothing. It's like, it is what it is, basically. The book I have for studying. It's really big. Oh god, this is full of books. It's really big and... What the hell was that noise? 
and I kind of mark the lessons I have. So I'm going to give the Pomodoro technique a little try. I'm going to set up my first app for 25 minutes. I've turned off the Wi-Fi. I'm going to try to make two cycles of 25 minutes, which is an hour with the five minutes in between and see if I can actually focus, like, right for a whole hour. Mm, I have my questions. Let's see. I finished. I actually discovered that I am able to concentrate myself for 25 minutes. So now I'm going to do the 5 minute break and then I'm going to go back to the 25 minute work load. Also see if I change the batteries on the camera because it's out of battery. I really want to like do enough cycles that I finish tablet 2. Like if I finish editing the whole of this uh, sub chapter of tablet 2, I'll basically have finished editing the whole of tablet 2. And that would make me so happy because then I could move on to tablet 3. 10 more tablets to go, but one less tablet is one less tablet. Hey yo, so I have finished my second Pomodoro run of 25 minutes. It's been a simple hour and I have basically finished editing the whole of Tablet 2. Oh my, I only have seven parentheses and parentheses is basically the way I see where I need to add thing things or correct things. And I go to do navigation and I search up for like an opening parentheses so I can check if I have a lot of things I need to edit. And most of the things I have parentheses on, on right now are either description or timeline issues. And like I'm going to fix my timeline <clears throat> later. What I'm really going through is like more plot related addings, like adding actual plot stuff, actual scenes, actual dialogue, actually rewriting things and not exactly like fixing which day or like adding a little bit of more detailed description. That's more detailed and more for another time. What I'm really trying to do is really fill in those scenes and that that pacing and really rewrite and rework things that are more major, majorly important for the understanding of the story. Of course, if I can spice it up with some description in the go, like, I will. Um, I still don't know what the hell, my accent is always changing. <laughs> I am drinking my favorite English breakfast tea. Uh, I love black tea with all the strength of my heart. And that's a fact. And what I'm doing now is uh, I'm beta reading a book for someone else. Today I worked on modern Portugal and on history of the Portuguese expansion a little bit. I did some stuffs, like I took some quotes, I did some research. 
Then I had a round of physical exercise, and it was it was a lot. <laughs> it was just a lot. Now I'm drinking my tea. I'm later eating. I hope I'll finish this now, so then I can uh, write later. Right. Next step is foundation. I ask you guys to choose between my favorite one, which is the Revolution Concealer. Um, you can put that right there. Nicole, yes, thank you. Five. I can't say it left a huge impression on me. Hey, so I I unfocused this on purpose because I want to talk about what I'm working on without showing it. Basically, this is a short story I started writing because I saw that there was this contest open. Um, like, actually, it's a bunch of contests, and one of them is for hope punk short stories. And actually, I wasn't familiar with Hope Punk before uh, seeing this contest, but I immediately liked the idea of it and also the fact that this is, it isn't focused on like a single setting or like aesthetic. It's more about the, um, the like the positive, hopeful vibes, like hope as like I. It is described as basically being the opposite of grimdark. I read a little bit about it. I want to read more about it. See, uh, this uh, genre, this term was invented by an author called Alexandra. I think it's Alexandra. Alexandra Rowland. And she wrote a Tumblr post about it. She basically coined the term. And I think it's a really interesting idea. And I really want to explore it. And so I'm writing a short story. Uh, I actually have two different ideas for this. Uh, one of them is the one I'm writing for right now. And I still don't know how much words it's going to have, but the maximum they allow is 10,000. So it needs to be below 10,000 words. And I'm not very good at being short and concise, so this was definitely a challenge for me. And actually this morning I was writing like the first draft of it and I wasn't feeling it at all so i just opened a new file and i started like kind of plotting a little bit and then i started writing it again with a more clear view of each scene and i even like made these little i can show you these little divisions by scene so i can actually have a more like a more concise structure really structure it like i would with any novel that i write and like, I wrote a scene that made me realize I don't need to complicate short stories. I can just apply the techniques I already have from novels to short stories. I don't need to write completely differently. I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> I guess it's because I didn't know how to write like myself in a short way. Because my writing is so long, long and like super everything on the page, everything described, small interactions described, like little character moments described. In a short story, you can't do that. And But I realized that I can still use my usual style of like having a dialogue heavy um, dramatic scenes without making a super long novel. I just need to focus the, the, the drama in small parts so it doesn't get too long. So I'm really excited because I'm feeling this. I'm actually feeling this in a way I haven't felt any of my short stories that I wrote before this. It's like I achieved like short story enlightenment. I don't know. Besides that, I also worked a little bit on college stuff, but this is really the most exciting development. And yeah, right? Short story B. And that's awesome. Besides, in my Gilgamesh, uh, what's going on? I basically finished editing Tower 3. And I'm currently editing Tower 4, which is already fairly edited, since I edited that, that in January and February. Um, and it's going good. And I also edited a bit of Tower 5, because I'm a rebel. Who needs to like stay in one tablet? Am I right? And then 
Um, until Tower 6 is where I think I have like the plot under control and I am aware of the things I want to do. And like, because it's like the first half of the book and like in the second half everything kind of collapses into Armageddon. I don't really need to fix that. I really need to fix Armageddon. And I really need to read Proust because I'm being a slow freaking reader with this book. Oh my god. I really got out of like my reading habit with college. It's terrible. Even when I have no college, I still don't read. What's wrong with me? So yeah, I need to read. That's the conclusion we take away from this. Hey, I just want to get you up to date with the stuff I've been doing for college. I'm working on modern Portugal and um, I wonder if having just two pages of the freaking thing is enough because I'm not going to write five pages of this. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try, I swear I'm going to try to write three pages in this. I'm going to try to make it full, but I don't know if I can do that truly. Meanwhile, meanwhile, um, writing. I'm already editing Tabla 4. Oh boy, she fast. She a fast editing girl. And honestly, Tabla 4 has a few problems that I still don't know how I'm going to solve. Namely, my timeline problems are out of this world. I always have timeline problems. My time just jumps around. Like, there's a scene and then the scene immediately after is a scene that is supposed to be, like, much forward in the story. And I'm like, why is there a huge gap in the story between these two scenes? We don't know. It's a mystery. Also, I'm writing my short story for contest and I'm really excited and I've been like, I already have, how many words do I have? Ooh, 2,947. This is very dramatic, but I really need to stay between, uh, in the limit that is 10,000 words because I do like to write more than that usually, like a lot. And so I'm kind of filming to get motivation because I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do... I, I, I was actually editing. I'm going to make a vlog section. Editing this vlog! Um, woo! Um, <laughs> I swear I'm not on drugs. That's what my cousin said when I told him my idea for a short story. He was like, are you high? And I'm like, no, I'm just a writer, but it's basically the same. Work on modern Portugal and then yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that. I think, but I don't want to. Ah! Okay, I'm calm. I'm a calm person, but I need to do this until the 19th. This is the compulsory, and then I need, I also need to finish the religions one about death. Yeah, I know, a timely topic. <laughs> um, I need to finish the other one about death, and the other one is... Immediately a week after. This is so... Ah, uh, such little time, so many things to do. I don't understand why teachers do this to us. More coffee. My coffee is almost over. I'm so nervous. I don't want it to get... I don't want to be without coffee. Coffee is my drug, okay? Coffee is my drug. I have finished my short story with 6,404 words. Oh my god. I'm so happy that I finished it. It feels so good writing the word end when you write something. It just feels so good. And now I'm going to let it. I'm not going to edit this right now. Maybe I'll give to someone to beta read since it's small. And then I'll incorporate the criticisms in my uh, developmental edit that I will have to do eventually. And like, um, yeah, pretty good.